book on mainly everything. I am John. Um, got five more things that I like um, for you today. We're going to start with these. These are the Work Tunes from 3M. Um, they are a safety earmuff or a earmuff uh, speaker or Bluetooth headphone. So they have Bluetooth connectivity to them. They also can be plugged in with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there, and they have a micro USB type charger. Um, big pads on them on each side, so it does seal your ears pretty well. Um, they do block out a very large amount of noise. I will put the link to these in the description, and if you're interested, they'll have a whole description there to tell you what decibel these bring volume down to. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, these things are awesome. I use these a lot when I uh, do mowing or anything like that. Um, anything noisy that I don't really want to hear. And I can listen to some tunes while I'm doing it. Uh, so it has a 680 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, they are made in China. Um, yeah, these things are awesome. They have a nice, a pretty decent headband. It's not that soft, but it does have like kind of a, a taut rubber so it does squish down a bit um i didn't have a problem with them with them being uncomfortable these grab a lot these are these like between these two is pretty tight so it's not really the weight's not really resting on your head it's more kind of like dispersed through your ears and stuff um it does have some it does have an led indicator there and it does have a couple features like double clicking and triple clicking to for whatever um play pause skip whatever anything like that they do have mics like right there um i've never taken a phone call with them but i'm sure you could and i'm sure it's not bad um but yeah these things have been awesome use them a bunch they still they hold a charge for a while um they're like 40 when i bought them they're like 40 bucks on amazon they are adjustable um a decent amount anyway no, maybe not. Maybe I have them at the max. Um, but, yeah, they're adjustable like this. It's right here. Um, but yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty sweet little guys. Um, one of my coworkers actually had the uh, Work Tunes Connect that had like a radio or like a radio connection to them too, which is pretty cool. So they do make that one. That one is way more expensive though, I believe. Um, but yeah, these things are pretty awesome. So let's move on to the next item. Um, this one's kind of boring, but it's a pen. This is my favorite type of pen. Um, I like this one and the Pilot G2, um, a lot, but this one is my favorite. If it would focus on the pen, it's a Univol Vision Needle Micro Waterproof Fade Proof pen. Um, these things are awesome have a decent has a good clip here um you literally could leave this just open like that and it would not dry out i've done it for like a week before um but I'll do some squiggly so you can see it is a pretty good ink doesn't smear immediately anyways see what i mean um john right there kind of ish whoa whoa ish cursive hi um yeah really nice pen one of my favorites so that's that guy um next this stuff right here it's burt's bees beeswax lip balm this stuff is the best ever uh, if you get chap lips often um or not even often ever this stuff works i swear to god better than everything else um it's literally the ingredients are right here. It's beeswax, and it has a couple other, um, couple other ingredients made in the USA. Global components, um, in Durham, North Carolina, is where Burt's Bees is based out of. Burt's Bees stuff's awesome. Actually, I'm gonna use some of it right now. Um, it just works so much better than everything else. I think it's what it looks like. It's just clear. Um, lip balm, but. Fantastic. The best stuff for chap lips, in my opinion. I 
don't even think it's my opinion. I think it's everything. Um, next, I got a couple articles of clothing here. Um, this is a Carhartt Rain Defender um, kind of zip-up hoodie. What is going on with Focus? It has not been that great recently. I apologize. Um, Carhartt Rain Defender. Medium. It's a loose fit. It's really, really nice. Um, my girlfriend bought me this a long time ago. Um, I do have some weird stains. I don't know what it what it is, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's blood or, or what it is, but can I can I focus? Oh my god. Sorry guys. Um nice loose fitting hood, nice loose fitting hoodie. Um I'll try to link it down in the description. It has two pockets, um, one in each hand. They are um somewhat lined pockets with like there's lined with the same stuff the inside's lined with. It's kind of like a fleecy type material. Although it did get matted down over time with washes and stuff like that. You guys know how that works. Um, but super, super nice. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the inside. Just to show you. I'm sure you already know what it looks like. But um, yeah, super nice little uh, hoodie. One of my favorite that I have. A good zipper. I'm going to zip it up and I can show you a little bit better of the picture here. There we go. Here's kind of a full frontal picture of it, or a full front. I got to get a bigger setup. Um, yeah, so that's that. Really nice. Um, and then here is this, another Carhartt clothing item. It is a rugged flex, relax fit. Um button up kind of like a, almost a khaki type button up which is pretty nice this guy was kind of expensive i bought it at like tj maxx it was like 50 bucks they sell online for like 70 or 69 or something super nice though um it is fleece lined as you can tell or like flannel lined almost i'd say um it has a front pocket here it also has a zipper pocket right here um, what size is this? Thing? Is this a medium? Yep, yeah, so this is a medium, and that is, like, my size for most things. I get a large in jackets and stuff like that, because I normally wear stuff under them. And this thing I can wear over, like, the, the Carhartt Rain Defender, um, pullover, like, half zip hoodie that I did a review on. I can put this over that. It's kind of neat. Um, or the other way around, it's nice to wear underneath or over things. If you wear just a little hoodie and want to wear this over it. It's nice. It looks good. Um, it's in there kind of Carhartt brown. Um, here's that kind of collar on it. Here's the back of it. Both arms. Um, one thing I don't like that much is the buttons on the arms, but that is just preference. It is open and you can adjust it. I don't really like that. I'd rather it just be cuffed. Um... And not have buttons but i understand some people like that and that's kind of a classic type of one of these um, they both are the same but this guy's really nice um i don't really know how it does with rain or anything like that because i really haven't taken out in rain yet i didn't buy it that long ago has an inside pocket too right here it is flea it is lined with the same flannel stuff too this flannel stuff is very soft too um just so you know can try and show you a little bit about it there you go um the arms are not lined with it though they're lined with like a black almost like sport short type material like a polyester type material or something um yeah so it, it, it is very nice um made in bangladesh a lot of carhartt stuff's made down there yeah really nice i like it a lot um, if you enjoy this type of video, please feel free to leave it down below. Um, I'd appreciate the feedback. Feedback is always very important. Um, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, let me know. I will put links in the description. I believe they're associate links. Um, I tried to like sign up for that on Amazon. I'm not sure if it actually went through. Um, but I will put it in the description anyways, just so you are aware. Um, of that, I don't really know if I would make money from any of the stuff if you guys bought it all out of those links. 
Um, if I do, I'll be 100% sure to tell you. Um, because I think that'd be cool to share and to know. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.